happy January. This is one of the first videos in January and it's gonna feel so freaking good. Happy 2022. Wow, almost went back a few years, but anyways. <laughs> anyways, happy 2022, guys. Crazy. So, today's video, I wanted to reset the house. I feel like I'm always resetting the house, like whether like the last one was for guests. This time is for the new year. Um, my guests just left. My dad and his wife just left Hawaii and Christmas is still up in our house and I have a few other things I need to like do around the house. So we're going to reset for the new year, which will feel really, really nice. So we're going to undecorate. We're going to do things. Also guys, when my dad was here, he put up my Christmas present, which is the new kitchen pendant. So I'll show you guys that. It looks so freaking good. I'm so excited. So Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Um, I am going to quickly do my makeup, kind of get ready, throw on a hat, um, and then we'll jump into cleaning the house and undecorating Christmas. Does anybody else? I gotta know. I feel like everyone does this, but there is a point right after Christmas where you look at the decorations and you just wanna take them down. I got to that point. I am so freaking ready. I actually did the kitchen already because I couldn't take it anymore. I was like, I need to start fresh. So I'm very excited to get Christmas down and start the new year. So happy 2022 and let's do my makeup real quick. So I'm honestly going to keep it very, very natural being that today is just a home day, getting things done. Um, so just gonna do a little BB cream. I actually already have, don't judge me, I have my mascara on from yesterday. I felt lazy when washing my face last night. So, it's still on, but you know, whatever. We've all done it before. Also, a little tip, whenever I am like cleaning the house or doing anything around the house, I don't like to feel grungy when I'm doing it. Like I still wanna feel put together. So I always put on an outfit, even if it's just a hat, t-shirt and jeans. And I always, put on a little face of makeup. That way I feel good about myself when I'm getting ready. There's just something about it that I highly recommend that if you don't do it, definitely get ready when you clean or do anything in your space. Not crazy, just like some BB cream and some mascara and a lip and you're good to go. You notice the difference. Step one of getting my house together is getting myself together and that is now complete. Yay. <laughs> Alrighty, so before we jump into the cleaning and putting together the house part of this video, I wanted to share with you a few great gift ideas from Lily Silk. Now, I have teamed up with them before, I think it was like back in May, and I'm doing it again, and I just wanted to continue sharing my experience of using silk items with you because it has been a game changer. I have their silk PJs, I have pillowcases, I even have scrunchies, and I've noticed a huge difference. Plus, I feel really luxurious when I'm using their pieces. Like, I just feel like it elevates me. <laughs> so a little bit about Lily Silk for those of you that don't know. Lily Silk provides affordable investment pieces with a wide product range. They have everything from blouses, pajamas, pillowcases, bedding sets, and even more like for men, women's, kids. Plus everything comes in many colors and many sizes. So you can really find something that's perfect for you and that matches your bedding or your aesthetic. They really are the most professional silk brand that I have ever known plus I use their products so I've tested them out for you and I am a proven customer and I've been really impressed with the results that I have had and as somebody who actually uses these products I can really speak to the benefits of silk and for those of you that don't know mulberry silk has a lot of beauty benefits to skin and hair it's absorptive of moisture it's breathable it's also temperature regulating which is really big in our house because it's so hot and humid here in Hawaii it's sleep promoting it's anti-aging and it's just soft my my favorite benefit as a clean freak is it can effectively prevent the growth of mold and dust mites and that is so comforting knowing I'm sleeping on a clean pillow so 
yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, we have all heard like how beneficial silk is. You hear people talk about it all the time, but I actually never knew the actual benefits till I tried sleeping on it for a long period of time. I've noticed a difference in my skin moisture as well as my hair. So that's the rundown of the benefits. Now, as far as those gift ideas, I know the holidays just passed, but we have Valentine's, we have birthdays, and we have Mother's Day coming up. So I wanna share with you three easy and lovely gift ideas for you. Now, these next three pieces are actually going to be my mom's Christmas gifts. We are celebrating a little late, being that we weren't able to spend the actual holiday together. She's on the mainland visiting family. So here's a sneak peek of what my mom's actually getting. <laughs> the first one is a must have when it comes to getting into the silk game. We have the 19 mom pillowcase with a hidden zipper. Now this is a 400 thread count and it's made of the highest grade 6A, 100% pure milberry. Now I went with the hidden zipper on the side because I like that it totally encases the pillowcase and I personally have switched all of our pillows to silk. I just like that they're hypoallergenic as well as there's no toxic additives added in. Now this next gift I thought was such a cute gift. This is the elegant one piece silk eye mask. Now this is also made of the 6A high quality pure mulberry silk. It's also filled with the natural long strands of silk floss which is also really nice and you can feel it when you're moving it around you're like oh my gosh that's really really soft so I thought it'd be fun to give to my mom just kind of give another gift of like luxury so the last gift idea I have for you and it's also the last gift for my mom are the set of 10 scrunchies now these are the soft silk large scrunchies and it was a 10 pack and they were all matching so I'm actually gonna give a set of five to her and keep a set of five for me also with a big scrunchie it adds height and volume to like a bun or ponytail so that's why I really like using them let's go ahead and test it out. I right now just have an elastic in right here, so that's not as cute. Oh yeah, see? Yeah, see that's much cuter than just an elastic. <laughs> Those are the gift ideas that I have for you from Lily Silk, and I've just been really impressed with my experience, so I just wanted to share them again with you guys. So I do have a code for you guys. Feel free to use Cooper12 for 12% off of your order. It's a little 12% discount for you. Um, but yeah, I've just really enjoyed them. So I thought I would share the love with you guys again. Now you guys have some gift ideas for the upcoming year. Be sure to save those or go ahead and like pre-buy them, use that discount code and just have all your shopping done for the birthdays, Valentine's and whatever holidays come up. Um, it's not a bad idea actually. I should probably probably do that. I should probably stock up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these away so I can get them wrapped for my mom when she gets back in town. But let's go ahead and head out to the living room and start packing up Christmas and getting this house back in order for the new year. So the first thing I want and need to do today is take down Christmas. I'm over it. <laughs> I love Christmas and I love decorating for Christmas as you guys know, but there comes a point in January where you're just over it and I'm over it. So I actually already started, like I mentioned, I already took down the kitchen. So those are already in the bins at the end. I have piles on top of each of these that need to go into here. We gotta go take down the garland, take down the tree, all that jazz. I'm gonna start with the garland and do that because that's easy. I can put it in this bin and be done and take that back out to the shed. Let's do garland and then everything else will kind of fall into place. Something I really like doing, and I did this with Halloween this year, was when I pack things into the container, I do it by sections. <laughs> and I just have a feeling it'll make it so much easier next year when I go to decorate something like the mirror, all the pieces that I decorate with will be in that box. So it'll be much easier. So I already packed the kitchen that way. I have one tub for the kitchen and so on and so forth. I'm actually getting a later start than I wanted to as far as like packing everything up. Oh. Okay, so sorry, don't know where I left off. Hitch is at the vet, I'm getting a checkup. So I was getting a call from his cardiologist, our little guy, for those of you that don't know, has a little heart murmur. And um, so we have to get him checked up every once in a while and you know, being a dog mom. So anyways. <laughs> So I don't have much in the dining room. I just have my centerpiece and those little cranberries over there. We'll just do one big box of everything from the living room and dining room. Um, and we'll get this done. Oh, it feels so good, honestly. I love just like starting fresh with a new year with a clean house. So let's continue.
think the last sight of Christmas in our house is the tree. So I already took off all of our fragile ornaments last night because that just takes way too long. That's done, which is a big time saver today. So I am now just going to undress the tree and take it apart and pack it up and we are done with Christmas. And I feel good about it. So let's undo this thing. the house feels really empty but it also feels really refreshing so um, I had to move some things around to fit the Christmas tree like we normally have this side table over there and um, a few other things plus it's really dirty so I'm gonna take a few minutes and just kind of like reset the house in terms of just vacuuming and moving that over and then I want to like decorate <laughs> Um, I know that sounds silly, but I have to like redecorate the dining table and also the side table in the dining room and find all the decor that I moved for Christmas. So we're gonna do that. We're just gonna play a little bit. Reset, then decorate. Um, it's crazy how dirty a home gets during Christmas, like with all the decor out. I've already vacuumed the living room twice and like I can tell things are just settling and moving around. I could already redo it. And I definitely have to clean under the couch and all that, but that's gonna be a different day. Exactly. Does it not feel empty in here? Do you hear that? I know, it's horrible. <laughs> okay, so the first area that I'm gonna like reset and redecorate is the living room. And I call it reinforcements because I'm getting tired. <laughs> so Sarah's gonna help me fluff and beat these pillows and get this the couch set, and then we'll work on the accent tables, but. It feels yeah. so empty. That, right? Do you hear that? Isn't that weird how like a tree... Christmas! Good. We're getting there. All right. Dog stuff now. Dogs. You boys need all those? Yeah. Last thing we need is them stress out every time you're cleaning because it means getting rid of toys. Look how much fun they're having. Those are all new to you, huh, guys? Funny when you go back to like decorate spaces and you can't remember what went there I just looked at all the decor and nothing was clicking so let's see I know this didn't Okay, so now we're gonna work on the dining room. Uh, the living room came together really nicely. I always like to do like a reset and then a deep clean because dust settles and it'll feel dirty here in a couple days anyway. And then I'll go back through and do like a New Year's scrub of the house. So if you guys would like to see me just like deep clean, go for it, get after it and reset this house, like scrub baseboards and all, let me know, um, but for now, um, I'm gonna try to reset or decorate this uh, dining room here pretty quick because I have a nail appointment in 22 minutes. So I'm gonna see if I can just quickly get this done, know that it, that's done, then when we get back we can finish the kitchen and show you guys what we did over the holiday break in there and what ideas we have. I'm so freaking excited. You know what's funny is, sorry, side note, as I've been decorating all these little spots, it feels like I need a refresh. Like I'm missing some decor pieces that I really, really want. So I'm gonna keep an eye out next time I go to like TJ Maxx, Target, any of those 
any of my normal stopping grounds here um, just for new pieces that kind of inspire me like I feel like our coffee table is just the decor on it is not to my liking so I'm gonna try to fix that but anyways that's my venting moment let's start on the dining room What I mean I feel like I don't have a few key items that make like the centerpiece like I had a candlestick there um, with a candle on it but I could never light it because the fan so it didn't quite make sense so I feel like I need to find a few pieces that finish some of these spaces and that's kind of the cool thing too about um, interior design or home decor is as you evolve so does your style and I can clearly see that in our home as i've gotten more comfortable with decorating and experimenting i can like start to like i can see my taste start to come out which is kind of cool so anyways um that's it for now on this space let's go over here and do this centerpiece So this area I try to keep pretty simple. I just have my lamp, I have a stone. I just have some seashells and some sage and Palo Santo and some beads. Just pretty simple in this little centerpiece. And then I have my vase with just some stems in it. Um, but yeah, I think this is done. So I'm gonna go get my nails done and when we get back, we'll finish the kitchen and see if there's anything else I need to do. But this was a very good start. It's amazing how long this actually takes like I forget I was like oh I can get all this done today it doesn't look that way <laughs> but anyways we got a lot done so let's go get our nails done because I got a broken nail and that is not cute and I don't want that anymore plus I have red on I feel like I need a reset for the new year do you see a theme here all right off to the nail salon we go so here's a little before of the nails Clearly, they've seen better days. That is so much better. I love a clean, neutral nail. I love red, but <laughs> this is much better. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I am back for my nails. That was much needed. Feels really, really nice. Everyone loves a fresh manicure. So that's done and checked off the list. Now I need to tackle the kitchen. It's a it's a mess, but what is exciting are our new pendant lights. Sawyer got those for me for Christmas. They were from Amazon and I will link them down below because it was a great find, but I'm obsessed. I really wanted something darker up top because our kitchen is so light and so white that I really wanted to start like grounding the area. So as you guys already have seen, but they've been here a while, but are the new bar stools. So those are black and then we have the pendants which are black with like a natural wood um, section, if you will. Um, so with that being said, as you can see down here, there is a test area. So something I want to possibly do is wrap the bottom of the island in wood and stain it the same color as that wood cap on top of the pendant. I just think that's something that would like complete the space and just ground it and really, really give it a unique touch, kind of give it our flair on the kitchen. Um, yeah, it's kind of like they never really finished the kitchen, if that makes sense. The way they finished the island, um, it was missing something. And I think this is something that would be really unique and a fun project to try. So when my dad was here, we tested out some stains and he was helping me kind of think through it and whatnot. So yeah, that's kind of exciting. That's what's new in the kitchen. We also have a new light over the kitchen sink and I had to order a different one because the shade from the last one was like smushed. So that just arrived. So we're gonna get the kitchen cleaned and then I will show you that light and put up that uh, new shade and hopefully, fingers crossed, this one isn't crushed. <laughs> Kitchen Island looks so much better. All right, now we're gonna go do some dishes, knock those out, and we can do the light and show you guys our new light fixtures. Oh, and you can kind of see them, but give you the full effect of the one over the kitchen sink. P.S. <laughs> I don't know how these dishes got so out of hand. Uh, these were drying from last night, and then today they kind of took over, obviously because I was busy 
cleaning other things and they just piled up. This is our new light fixture. I wanted something that was different than just like a dome looking pendant. I wanted something that felt a little bit more traditional but still had the black iron to tie in with the sink and the other lights, the bar stools, handles, everything else. So I found this one on Amazon and it's just like a black simple chandelier and has black iron but it has a white drum shade. So I really just like that. I thought it was different. It was something that I wanted. So I found one, but <laughs> the trick was we have this 90 degree angle. Now the previous light that was there, it looked a little like mix matched, didn't look right. Um, they kind of like jerry rigged it together, which is no problem, but it kind of looked like it. So my goal for this one was to not have it look like jerry rigged, but we, <laughs> but we ended up having jerry rig it anyway. My dad had to get really creative with the parts that were in the box, and we ended up using that 90 degree angle from the previous light because it's, it was a long story. But long story short, we sprayed the main piece black and used that from the previous because it already worked and somehow it all came together really nicely. So I'm gonna slide this back up there and we're gonna put it all together. Fingers crossed that I can do this um, because my dad has it all like literally jury rigged together. If you take one piece apart, you have to take the whole light apart. It's a whole thing. So wish me luck. Let's turn that off. Oh yeah, that looks so good. All right, ready? Ta-da! Oh, I love it. Yeah. That looks so much better. The other one was like crushed in its packaging and you could like tell when it was awful. But this is so good. Yay! <sighs> I'm exhausted. Okay, so it is getting late. I think it's like, oh, it's only six, but it feels really late. Um, I gotta get dinner going here soon, but um, I wanted to, um, reset my office. When we had guests here, we had suitcases in here and I just wanted to remake the bed and kind of start fresh with the new year. That is the theme. Um, so I'm going to pull this off, make the bed and just reset my office. It'll feel really nice when I like sit down to edit tomorrow and my office is clean. This is so much better. I'm going to do the rest of the cleaning tomorrow because I'm just exhausted, but just knowing that the bed is done or like the day bed is all made feels so good. So I think that's it. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to call that a wrap of taking down Christmas and kind of resetting the home. It feels so nice to have everything decluttered and kind of redecorated and somewhat clean. So that way I can go do my full new year's clean here in a couple days. So it's just like, I feel relieved. <laughs> it feels so nice to have everything put away and just, yeah, it feels really good. So I am exhausted. I have the oven preheating for a pizza tonight because it's just that kind of night, you know? That took it out of me. I don't know, I don't know why, but packing up Christmas, putting it back in the shed just is like exhausting. So anyways, I just wanna thank you for joining me today and taking down Christmas and resetting the house. And I will also link Lily Silk down below, including that discount code for you guys and the links for all of the gift ideas that I shared with you today. So that'll be down there for your convenience. And also don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already. We are going to be wedding planning here soon. We already had some wedding videos out, um, but yeah, I'm gonna start the wedding process here soon, as well as some more new year, like clean and organizing videos will be coming up as well. So be sure you're subscribed so you guys do not miss out on that. But that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.